So we're going to find out now if we can really calculate the area of a trapezium. And in a previous video, I have um, I've shown you why the formula looks the way it does. Eh? So uh, you don't have to remember those formulas because you understand them. Yeah, a trapezium that's a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Yeah, so this is a trapezium: one, two, three, four sides and one pair of parallel sides. Okay. So what is the area of a trapezium? Well, if I write it down here, so the area equals the sum of the parallel sides. I'm just going to put here the symbol of parallel sides, the sum of the parallel sides, divided by 2 times the height. And I just want to say again what you're actually doing very quickly. You're taking, if you like, the average of those two parallel lengths, yeah, and you times it by the distance, the perpendicular distance between those two parallel sides. Because actually, what are my parallel sides? Yeah, 3 centimeters, 7 centimeters. Actually, I am taking a little bit away here and I can glue that then over there. So indeed, like I showed you in the previous video, you are again talking about a rectangle. Yeah, but I'm taking away a little bit of the seven centimeters and I'm sticking it there so that three centimeter increases at that length. So I'm taking the mean, if you like, the average of those two parallel sides. And I times that then by the perpendicular height between them, yeah, because that, that is my rectangle. Okay, now what does that look like? The sum of the parallel sides. Well, this parallel side is 7 plus that one is 3 divided by 2 times the height, the perpendicular height. Again, it's hardly visible now, but I'm not interested in that slanted height. The perpendicular height, 3 centimeters, it tells me. Okay, 10 divided by 2. Let's write it down. It doesn't take that long. 10 divided by 2 indeed is 5. And 5 times 3 is 15 centimeters squared. Very good. Yeah, don't forget the unit. Okay. You see, it doesn't take time at all to write down your workings. Eh? And it does give you a lot of points. Trust me on that. Trust your teacher when he tells you or she that you will gain points when you write down your workings. Yeah, we don't tell you that to tease you. And it doesn't take a lot of time either. Actually, I'm convinced it saves you time if you write down your workings. You are quicker. You want to be quick? Write down your workings. See you at the next video.